it's the end of turn two uh, at the Battle of Plataea, and here's a quick summary of what's happening so far. The Greeks have managed to get a very formidable force up into their key zone, threatening the Persian key zone. They've got three, four, five veteran units plus an average hoplite unit. Uh, in response, the Persians have managed to get up uh, three average arch infantry units and some heavy cavalry. And, uh, but they are under serious threat there, coming up very soon. On the Greek right, they have an average light infantry unit that has been uh, spent after being attacked by light cavalry on the Persian left. And that has just been reinforced by some levy, heavy, heavy cavalry from the Persian centre. Uh, the aim here is for the Persians hopefully to break through next turn on the light infantry and cause some havoc uh, around the back of the Greek line. So I think the Greeks will have to address that in their upcoming turn somehow. Uh, moving to the Greek left, they have four average hoplite infantry on the map. Uh, advancing to come into support of the main line and countering that the Persians have uh, average hoplite infantry and heavy archers coming to uh, support their line so that's sort of an even contest at that point there at this stage so all the action has been happening in the uh, center with a real build up um, we've had one light cavalry unit uh, shattered by the veteran hop, uh, hoplites of the Greeks and um, they'll be going into action very shortly and uh, the key here is as to whether this group can hold off the veteran hoplites sufficiently to bring into more reinforcements so that's the uh, state of play at the end of the uh, second turn for both uh, sides in the battle of Plataea.